a lot to get uh, my D&D uh, &D character uh, posted onto the blog. Mm. Uh, it's for our challenge. Uh, so uh, once again, now that we have uh, oh, Pell, yes. Let someone who's not biased for Pell tell you guys had, about Pell. Had what Paul have you told them? Weigh in. Okay, so all right, and maybe uh, we're no, fine. No, Tally, I think you can you can give your interpretation. Okay, of okay. Pell is a total pain in the ass. <laughs> Pell thinks he's awesome. Pell thinks he's God's gift, the God's gift. I don't know which God's gift to Everything. all the Everything. elven ladies and all the elven gentlemen. Everything, and also Pell. <clears throat> Logical reasoning. Logical. Well, okay, Practical but Pell has decisions. this interesting thing where he likes to um, talk about burning everything with fire, but run away screaming when something scary happens until we basically drag him back and we're like, no, we have to fight this. And then he's like, fine, fine, I'll set everything on fire. And like, it's fine. He sets everything on fire and, and saves the day and it's great. And then he gives snarky, what, obnoxious what? advice that was unsolicited to all of his companions, like Bessie, who knows what she's doing just fine. Thank you ever so much. Back off. Luckily, she, uh, or, or luckily, Pell recently learned the ability to uh, do a fireball <laughs> and not light everybody on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because that was, that was a new accomplishment. That didn't actually change how he did fireballs. Because <laughs> he was doing that anyway, but now at least he doesn't kill all of us. Now, Pell also has this annoying thing that I think Brotor will get in on, that um, Pell oh, can't tell dwarfs apart. So he's a well, dwarf yeah. racist. Yeah. <laughs> totally. They all look the same. like an everything racist. <laughs> but Pell keeps missing the boat on doing some really cool stuff. So Brotor and Bessie have had these nifty opportunities to like save this beautiful ethereal lady and do what she says and Pell's all like no I don't want to do that you guys shouldn't do that and gets all snarky okay. about it and Brotor and Bessie That's, know that this I is I would like best. to point out the word yeah. Pell will That's elemental true. evil. Pell is very susceptible to mind control. Uh, no they're yeah. not. No, elves Very. are immune to mind control. <laughs> also delusional, Aside from the one first item see. that mind controlled you for a while. I, well, the thing is, any kind of, like, there have been several instances where, like, Brotor and Bessie have felt compelled to crawl into pits of acid. And Pell doesn't understand that this is for the best. He just, he does not have faith. <laughs> no fun. Next can't do anything with next time I will. Next time Except Pell will let your characters kill themselves. <laughs> It'll be a quieter, more sensible adventuring party. I'm sure we'll go to a better place that will be With very no exciting pill. and full of amazing fire, and you'll wish that you could have come along. That's <laughs> called hell. <laughs> I um, think that might be where Pell's from. We, we could, we could. Uh, so a couple of, of good Pell stories, actually, to inspire, uh, <laughs> to inspire you. Um, oh. Pell yeah. uh, recently came into possession of a crystal ball and started using it to, uh, like, he he got a, he found this crystal ball and started just using it to look at basically anyone and everyone that he'd wanted to know anything no, about. No, he also looked at some things that were useful to the party. That's true. He looked at some girls. Yep. He looked at some men. <laughs> yeah. Some some spooky men, some <laughs> bad scary, scary men. No, but also some also some good men. He looked at he looked at Rufus and Burn in Hamlet to see what they did in oh in their. Uh, Can you tell us there's, about it? There is a lot of speculation there. <laughs> Hell, Hell seeks knowledge. <laughs> um, Everybody say Mike to or say hi to Mike. Hi Mike. Hi Mike. Hi. Mike. 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 Jeremy, Mike's been pointing out that we both dressed MTG today, and it's, he's really proud. It's true. We're, we match again. Yeah, um, match matchy. So, but unfortunately, <laughs> the crystal ball was actually cursed. Nothing that Pell saw in it was real, um, and in actual fact, it mind controlled him, making him uh, kind of obsessed with what was behind this this magic wall in the temple that no one knows what's behind, and um, and obsessed with mushrooms. Yeah, that but, was weird. But that, we're over that now. Well, and well, you think you're over it, yeah. The obsession also made him get up in the middle of the night, sneak off with all the party treasure, and this. Freaking creepy orb that is like beyond. Now, evil. now technically it's a and golden like, skull. This is right, right, set right, with jewels. In set with, I think the gems are missing. Do I have the to gems are missing. There's, yeah. there's sockets for them, but you haven't. You and haven't then found terrible them. things will happen. So Pell thinks that we should. Like Pell knows that we can use this thing to do all kinds of horrifying I don't things. That's really tell us. And it just it makes the cleric twitch like you wouldn't believe. And Pell's like, no, we should try a thing. And then a rogue's just like, I think we won't. And then he was talking about mushrooms and. Hell's just fire and mushrooms. Now look, it would be a boring D&D campaign if all our characters got along. Would you like to tell everybody what Pell likes to do to the food? Okay, <laughs> this is this is this is legit something I will take credit for as a 
<laughs> okay, so Pell has rescued a party of goblins, and he's picked up uh, six oh goblins God. overall, one which has died. Yes. Uh, so he has so he has five goblins, all named after uh, English monarchs. So I don't know where he would have gotten that because this is D and D. Yeah. So he has the one that died is Albert, by the way. He has Victoria, Elizabeth, George. <coughs> William and uh, Cambridge, I think, yeah. because obviously we can't have two Georges. Right, two Georges was determined and to be bad. Hell does not speak Goblin. I know he learned a bit now. He's learned like he can, he can say things like "I am the greatest, worship me," you know, all of the kind of things you normally say to a party of goblins who think you were a minor deity. And he gave them all silly hats, so they they do worship him. Yes, it's uh, great. Easter. So Pell has come up with a fantastic plan, which I actually think is a great idea. This is called this is this is called uh, a little bit of trouble now to save us a lot of trouble later. Uh, Pell. Pell has been systematically going through the Temple of Elemental Evil as we clear out rooms and fouling the water and food supply by pooping in it and like and like uh, rubbing like uh, feces on it. So in a couple of weeks, instead of having to fight a big a big bunch of meanies, we have to fight a big bunch of meanies in severe gastric distress. Mm. So you know that is going to pay off. So far, we've killed everything in the parts of the dungeons that have been desecrated before they've gotten sick. But Pell is determined that this will eventually pay off. So Brotor and Bessie have to like run to rescue the really good wine and brandy from the Firkins before Pell destroys yeah. what's there. Bro Brotor's technique uh, for a similar uh, end result is just to eat and drink the stuff mm -hmm. that's there. We can't possibly eat and drink all that stuff. Yeah. So that is my D&D character. He is, a, he is an elf. He uses a, 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 like a staff. Uh, he doesn't have any other weapons. I he, think the, the like, adjective Ponzi would be appropriate. Don't you? He's, he's got a selection of wands at this point, I think. Um, <coughs> he's, he, he's definitely got some. He's got a few scrolls. Uh, and we know that. Fire. Yeah. Uh, he's got a ring of shooting stars, which is oh, significant. Yeah. Unfortunately, um, the temple hasn't have actually have come into play too much. No, does he have a cloak? Cloak of resistance, you've yeah. got for sure. Um, I think you've got elven chain, don't you? Yeah, elven chain. This, the temple of elemental evil is just stuffed with goodies. We have all this stuff. We can't. We just we just basically start throwing gems at bugbears to get them to come and fight on our side. Because what else are we gonna do with it? Al Alexander Dido is, is laughing at my character. Look, my character is adding delight to the campaign. It'd be boring <laughs> if everybody got along. And it would be boring if everybody <laughs> agreed on all of the major decisions. So somebody has to somebody has to keep things interesting. We've been playing this for a year and a half. Uh, uh, keep that inter-party conflict going. Yeah. The other good part was with Jess, who's not here right now, plays a fighter. Uh, is she still a fighter? Bye, Lily. Okay. She's, she's a fighting type. She's sometimes a fighter, sometimes a paladin, sometimes a barbarian, there depending you go, on yeah. the day. We, since it's a playtest, we switch around every so often. Um, but her name is Kadra. And uh, Kadra got knocked out at one point in time a couple games ago because Jess couldn't make the game. So Kadra was. He's <coughs> also an elf. Uh, also an elf, yes. Yeah, nobody so yells at Kadra when she's like, guys, you are being mind controlled by that harpy. <laughs> Kadra, Kadra and Pell sort of kind of get along so that they can say obnoxious things about how inferior all the other races are. I think they're but both. But then other times Kadra racists. kind of just wants to like bash Pell off the head, like you do, right? So. Kadra is not fond of Pell's goblins, and Kadra spent the entire. Oh, can you click on that? Um, Kadra has spent the entire uh, that session being carried around on a little travois by Pell's goblins, who were like trying to keep her out of the line of fire and everything. So we're just picturing Kadra, who's this like you know bulked up, armored elf with these five little goblins that she can't stand, going like <laughs> and carrying her all over the dungeon. The, the, the noise I made was. Hop, hop, because right. <laughs> he's she's pretty heavy for goblins to carry. Yeah, it's so cute. It's great. All right, hey. that's delightful, by the way. That is a good point that somebody brought up. That so, if you look at the graph.